South Africa will be sending the country's senior women's team to the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. This is after a deal was struck between the South African Football Association and the South African Football Players Union over delayed bonus payments. CGT and CS de Plessis has more. A truce between the warring parties has been reached just in time before the 26 players representing South Africa depart for the FIFA World Cup that starts later this month. This is due to a donation of $533,000 from the CAF president Patrice Mutsepe's Mutsepe Foundation that has allowed SAFA and the national women's team to reach an agreement after a heated few days which saw the impasse splash all over the national media here in South Africa. The events of the past days, however, have been extremely hard on all of us and uh, it is difficult. Oh yeah, it's a fellow at Jame also, uh, the captain. The, the coach, for any coach of any team to be faced with these circumstances is very difficult. So our thoughts and support is also there for the coach. And of course, it costs a shadow on an incredible journey of this team. The major issues saw the World Cup squad reject SAFA's initial contract, which did not include the guaranteed 30,000 US dollars fee for each player taking part in the event, not providing adequate opposition before the event, and including additional demands of $20,000 for the group stage and $40,000 for reaching the next stage. And initially, after intense discussions on Tuesday night, with the intervention of this Minister of Sport and the CAF president, a deal was struck, much to the relief of everyone involved. When we addressed the national team last night, we did indicate to an extent that they were right, and also in the, in the process of negotiations between the two um, stakeholders. Negotiations are about compromises. You may not get the best perfect outcome, but it's important to agree on minimums. And those compromises you make must not undermine the rights of, of, of the players. All that is left it's for read to be action. So we have negotiated in good faith. We have said we will do that. So the staff in them, that's what we get. The saga is now a thing of the past, and the African champions can now leave on various flights on Wednesday and Thursday for the global football showpiece, knowing that their concerns have been addressed and that they have been heard and respected. It will leave a bitter taste in the mouth of Safa, but it will be a lesson learnt and a step in the right direction for women's football that deserves more respect after achieving so much since their first World Cup appearance in 2019. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg.